to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakwadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akiam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And shallow on to the elect brothers. All right. So let's uh, let's jump in on. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to go in on 16. John 16 and 1. Start at the top. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. Can't be offended in this truth. Anything we read, anything we learn, hey, if it's something we got to repent on, you got to repent instead of being offended. All right. If you have, if you get offended by this doctrine, by this truth, then uh, you know chances are you're not of the elect. All right. Because if you're of the elect, you're gonna hearken and take heed. All right. Verse two, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth the most high service. See, they, they think that because their their minds are asked backwards when they're when we're on the streets teaching and preaching and prophesying and they they don't like the message. They're astonished at the doctrine. They want They're going to want to kill us because they get so mad because they believe the lies they've been taught. And they're literally going to think they're doing the right thing. They think they're doing the most high service, you know, but indeed, they, they you know, they're the wicked. They, they're. They're so uh, corrupted that they believe lies, right? Let's get that in uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. You see? So they believe lies to the point where they think when they're doing the right thing when they try to put the the, the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to death. All right? Only the elect are going to Take heed and hearken and repent to these words. Verse 3. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. Again, they don't know Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? They're too busy hanging on to the fake doctrine of uh, of Cesare Borgia, a.k.a. Jesus Christ and, uh, and God. That's all they call him is God. They don't call him by his true name. They don't know the Father. They don't know Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They don't know the Father or the Son. But for these things have I told you that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said unto not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. So Yahweh Shai is giving the elect fair warning, telling us, hey, you know, they're gonna hate you, they're gonna they're gonna try and kill you, they're gonna push you out the synagogues. And do they not do these things? You see, they do. Verse 5, but now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me whither goest thou. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your mind or your heart. All right? So the the, the, the disciples, they were like sad and to, to know that Yahweh Shai had to leave, had to be put to put to death, had to be crucified. Because they they you know they didn't understand wholeheartedly. The, the whole truth, you know, they knew that, well, once Yahweh Shai told them that he had to be put to death, you know, they they they, uh, they received it. But, you know, in the flesh, they didn't want to let him go. That was their teacher. That was their rabbi. That was that was their prophet. You see? So. <clears throat> so, like, yeah, let me get this music. But, um. Remember when Peter, Peter was like, uh, you know, saying that Yahweh Shai wasn't going to, wasn't going to be put to death. He was denying that and Yahweh Shai called him, uh, you know, he called him a, a serpent. He, he said, you, you know, you, you, you don't know the will of the father because the will of the father was to take Yahweh Shai away. Let's keep reading. Um, let me see. Seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comfort the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And the comforter are the words in the scriptures, the understanding of the book. Alright? 
Yahusha had to, he had to fulfill a purpose, man. He had to fulfill uh, his his lot, which was to be sacrificed, was to be that perfect sacrifice for the nation of Israel. All right, he was the one because of Yahweh Shai, we, we we became back in the fold with Yahweh. He was the mediator, right? So let's keep reading, verse eight. And when he is come, he will prove the world of sin, reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and, ju and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because I go to my father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged all right and that's the Yahweh Shai he's the prince they they the, the Romans took the matters into their own hands and they they judged the Messiah aka the Edomites and, you know, they're going to see him coming back. Right? Let's read that real quick. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. So who pierced him? The Romans did. The Edomites. They're going to they're gonna see his coming. All right, <clears throat> John 16 and verse 12. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but, whoever, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. And this is Yahweh Shai and the understanding through the Comforter, through the Holy Spirit. You know, we 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 have been forewarned. Everything written aforetime is for our learning. All right. So everything we read is to remind us and to give, bring us comfort, because we're comforted. In, we're comforted by this truth. When the two thirds and the heathen they can't be comforted by this truth, but we're comforted because we know the things that are coming so when they happen when the calamity happens when the destruction happens when the jacob's trouble comes through well guess what we already know about it we're already uh, getting uh, per, uh, spiritually mentally physically prepared you see while these other people they're they're in the dark all right they don't know what's coming but we have the comforter and i'll bring it out again in ecclesiastes 4 and 1 it says this is king solomon so I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun, and behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter, and on the side of their oppressors there was power, but they had no comforter, talking about the Israelites. Our people, the two-thirds, they're, they're going to be oppressed. The power is on the enemy side, and guess what? They have no comforter. Why? Because they, they don't take heed to the truth. They don't consider the truth. Instead, they're, they're, they're lost in the sauce. You know, they're lost in Esau's sauce. They're lost in the philosophy and all the all the wicked things that Esau set up here in their captivity in, in Babylon, America. So therefore, because they reject the knowledge, they reject the truth, there's no comforter for them. All right. But we have a comforter being in this truth. And if the spirit waxes on you, then you'll you know that this this these words, this this truth comforts you. Physically, literally, spiritually, mentally. All of the above, you see, there's comfort dealing with these scriptures. And uh, I'm at verse 14. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. So Yahweh, hey, he, he, he was merciful on our nation. And uh, and so because he's been merciful to our nation, he gave us Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was the perfect sacrifice, which gave us the ability to understand these scriptures and understand the comforter, you know, starting out with the, the prophets, you know. So we get this comfort. And if it not for Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't be... Um, reconciled with Yahweh, all right, because, you know, we've been a wicked nation, we've been a wicked, our forefathers were wicked, 
We've been wicked. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, the scripture says. So we needed Yahweh Shai. Verse the, Revelation 5 and 3. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. All right. So when, when Yahweh Shai, the lion of Judah, he, he prevailed to open the book and he was able to loosen the seals, meaning give us, you know, once the seals were loose, you can open a book that, and read it and understand it. That's what Yahweh Shai, that's the metaphor. Yahweh Shai was the one who, who, gave, who, who loosened the seals, gave us this understanding. All right. Because of that, we became uh, back into the fold of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the Lord's prophets have been set up on the earth to teach the elect. All right. So now here we are in these last days, and you have the the Lord has set up the prophets. The Comforter has come to us, and and you know we we're waxing strong in the spirit. We're diligent every day, learning more and more, understanding more and more, getting you know. The, Getting the breakdowns, uh, you know, understanding the breakdowns, understanding the book, giving us these comforting words for the elect. All right. So with that, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akam, pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.